right. As most of you probably know, we normally review music, <laughs> CDs, normally. and um, and gigs, and all that kind of stuff. Here DVDs, on, even yeah, books, even. That's that's what we're all about here on the Hard Rock Show. Yeah. Any, anything rock related, we we review it. But this is a first. Yes, um, we're currently road testing the new Kiss Destroyer beer. It's a good one. It is. It's actually really good. Mm. Really, I was quite surprised by how much I actually like it because um, we've we've talked about this before. Yep. I'm not the world's biggest fan of most beers. Yep. You know, I'm pretty pretty tame when it comes to my beer taste. <laughs> you but, tend to be um, a one-trick pony most of the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I stick to the, you know, the VBs and the Melbourne bitters, the standard sort of stuff. Yep. Um, but I'm really currently enjoying this Kiss beer. There's something about it. Yeah. Now, it's also, there's also the thing in the back of your mind about a lot of these things coming off as a gimmick and yeah. generally turning out crap. Yep. This is not one of those beers. This is actually a really good beer. It's yeah. got a really good sort of Euro lager type flavor and style and and you mentioned the the frothiness to it yeah as well. I, I really yeah. really enjoy the frothiness to yeah. it I, I don't know it's like sometimes you get a beer and it just comes across as being a little bit too flat and this one is definitely frothy that's yeah. the only way. <laughs> it's that's, not flat nah, not flat no. it's it's really good it's got a nice flavor it doesn't leave that um sort of aftertaste in your mouth it sort of lingers yeah. on too long like yep. a lot of beers do and um, yeah, we're just really enjoying it. Well, we've had the chance to sample this for a little while now and it's gone down very well. And this is one of those beers you can drink a few of and yeah. not, not really get tired of. It doesn't give you those headaches or some of those cheap and nasty beers doing all that sort of stuff either while you're drinking it. This is one of those ones. It's actually really smooth, goes down well, and it just goes one after the other depending on how much you really want to drink. Yeah. Now, um, it's currently available in Stubbies in Australia. Well, yep. It's available at the moment in, in um, a lot of Perth so, uh, Perth stores and yep. uh, it's slowly starting to make its way into Victorian stores. Yep. It's available in a lot of the independent sort of ones. Um, just in Stubbies, it is coming out in, in cans shortly, which you can probably see there. Yep. And also, Kiss are going to be bringing out their own wine. Yeah. Which should be hitting Australian shores in August, which should be good we've Look, talked about the yeah. um, ACDC wines on the show before we didn't actually try them no, on the show like no. we're doing right now That's with the it. beer yep. but um, it's the it's called the Zinfire Zinfandel wine and um, Zinfandel yeah I should wear my glasses occasionally <laughs> but that wouldn't be very rock and roll of me no not at all <laughs> <laughs> but yeah that should be coming to Australian shores late August Yep. Um, we both like wine, so I'm looking forward to yes. getting my lips around that one we do. too. Particularly the red wines. Yeah. So yeah. I'll definitely be looking forward to trying that. Absolutely. But um, speaking of Kiss and their beer, they've just released their first single off their new album, which is called um, Hello Hallelujah, and it's bloody good. It's really, yeah. really good. <laughs> I- I'm liking it a lot. It's only been out for a couple of days now. Yeah. Um, if this is a sign of things to come from the upcoming album Monster, then it's going to be really good. Yeah, yeah. And, and the album comes out um, probably shortly after the wine. It's about October, November, I, I believe. So. It's all tying in nicely well together. You've got a, a Kiss Destroyer beer to go with a new single, and down the line you'll have the wine to go with the new album. And yeah, and hopefully there'll be enough time to digest all this beer and yeah. wine and music <laughs> in time for Kiss to tour. That'd hopefully that happens. Yes. I hope that next year... We see Kiss in Australia. Yes, please bring the show to our shores. But until then, um, well, as always, have a have a go of the beer and um, Kiss destroy a beer. Best, it says the hottest beer in the world, but it is honestly best enjoyed cold. Actually, you know <laughs> what um, we were just talking about is uh, if you ever drink Carlton Draft Stubbies, there's uh, a trivia ah, question yes. under the under the lid. The only thing that this beer is actually missing is a Kiss trivia question underneath the lid. We thought we think that that would be a really, really cool idea. <laughs> that's the only thing that that's lacking. Yep. Just you know, just a little bit of Kiss trivia. When you pop the top, you can go, oh, so and so did guest vocals on this, or yeah. this was released here. That'd be, I reckon, that'd be good. It was tour dates and things like yeah, that. Yeah, Andrew threw that out there, and I yep. thought. Absolutely, <laughs> that, that would be awesome. That yeah. that would complete the package. Yep, that's about all that's missing from this beer. It is a very, 
good solid product so totally not so, a gimmick at all very good so check it out um and if your your local bottle shop hasn't got it in harass them to get it in absolutely get on the backs it's usually supply and demand so make sure there's a demand for it yep 